Boy, here's a great airplane, and it brings back very fond memories for me of my time in the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps really gave me my foundation. I graduated from college uh, from UCLA in 1956, entered the Marine Corps immediately, and spent the next 36 years uh, rising through the ranks. But the thing that the Marine Corps did for me was it gave me structure and discipline and being part of a culture that puts the organization before the individual. eventually came back here to Washington and became the Assistant Commandant of the Marine Corps. And to have an aviator as the second ranking person in the Marine Corps was pretty unique. But I can tell you, as I was considering retirement from the Marine Corps, I was really dreading it because I thought, how will I ever find a place where I'm as comfortable as I am here, where it's a perfect fit for me? And I was in for a very pleasant surprise. If you talk to anybody who worked at NASA, any of the nine NASA centers around the country, they will tell you that, that General Daly was the glue that held the agency together. They had an amazing ability to tackle a problem. They used to say, if you can define the problem, NASA can solve it. And I was fortunate enough to be in a position where I could really watch and wonder as they performed their mission. He's done a lot of things for the United States of America. And among the most recent was heading up the National Air and Space Museum. This is now the most visited museum in the United States and last year the most visited museum on the planet. When General Daly was hired, the priority list had one item on it, and that was the creation and completion of the Udvar Hazy Center. He determined that we would be one museum and two sites, and that was a great idea. His inspiration and his leadership really rallied the staff, and we pulled it off. Another important accomplishment during General Daly's tenure as director was the acquisition of the Space Shuttle Discovery. And we got special permission to fly it down Pennsylvania Avenue and people were just mesmerized by seeing this behemoth of a vehicle on top of this behemoth of an airplane. I didn't realize what I was preparing myself for as I went through my previous careers, but when I got here, I really did feel at home. This was, this was the place I've been looking for. This is where pilots come, this is where aviators come, this is where mechanics come. mission is to create the workforce of the future in STEM subjects. General Daly's passion is flying, and anything he can do to share that passion with visitors at the museum is just what he wants to do. He's a great leader, and people feel good about working here, and they feel good about what they do here. Jack has this great capability of linking arms with you and yet leading you far along the way. I actually can't believe that I'm joining the ranks of the folks who have received this before. I've been really fortunate with the, the places I've been, the, the organizations I've been associated with, but mainly the people that I've uh, gotten to know. <laughs>